Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flocky shepherds. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness when at Mirabah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Christ is the world's light, he and none other. Born in our darkness, he became our brother. If we have seen him, we have seen the Father. Glory to God on high. Christ is the world's peace, he and none other. No man can serve him and despise his brother. Who else united us, one in God the Father? Glory to God on high. Christ is the world's life, he and none other. Sold once for silver, murdered here, our brother. He who redeems us reigns with God the Father. Glory to God on high. Give glory, give God the glory, God and none other. Give God the glory, Spirit, Son, and Father. Give God the glory, God and man, my brother. Glory to God on high. As morning breaks, we sing of your mercy, Lord, and night will find us proclaiming your fidelity. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your love in the morning and your truth in the watches of the night, and on the ten-string lyre and on the lute, with the murmuring sound of the harp. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad, for the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works! How deep are, the, are your designs! The foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to eternal be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All doers of evil are scattered. To me, you give the wild ox's strength. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes looked in triumph on my foes. My eyes heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree and, and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God, still bearing fruit when they are, are old, still full of sap, still green, to proclaim that the Lord is just. In him, my rock, there is no wrong. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Take our shame away from us, Lord, and make us rejoice in your saving works. May all who have been chosen by your Son always abound in works of faith, hope, and love in your service. As morning breaks, we sing of your mercy, Lord, and night will find us proclaiming your fidelity. Extol the greatness of our God. Give ear, O heavens, while I speak. 
Let the earth hearken to the words of my mouth. May my instruction soak in like the rain, and my discourse permeate like the dew, like a downpour upon the grass, like a shower upon the crops. For I will sing the Lord's renown, O oh, proclaim the greatness of our God, the rock, who, how faultless are his deeds, how right all his ways, a faithful God without deceit, how just and upright he is. Yet basely he has been treated by his degenerate children, a perverse and crooked race. Is the Lord to be thus repaid by you, O stupid and foolish people? Is he not your father who created you? Has he not made you and established you? Think back on the days of old. Reflect on the years of age upon age. Ask your father and he will inform you. Ask your elders and they will tell you. When the Most High assigned the nations their heritage, when he parceled out the descendants of Adam, he set up the boundaries of the peoples after the number of the sons of God. While the Lord's own portion was Jacob, his hereditary share was Israel. He found them in a wilderness, a wasteland of howling desert. He shielded them and cared for them, guarding them as the apple of his eye. As an eagle incites its nestlings forth by hovering over its brood, so he spread his wings to receive them and bore them up on his pinions. The Lord alone was their leader. No strange God was with him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Extol the greatness of our God. How wonderful is your name, O Lord, in all creation. How great your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens. On the lips of children and of babes you have found praise to foil your enemy, to silence the foe and the rebel. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you arranged, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him, gave him power over the works of your hands, put all things under his feet, all of them sheep and cattle, yes, even the savage beast, birds of the air, and fish that make their way through the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth! Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty Lord, how wonderful is your name! You have made every creature subject to you. Make us worthy to give you service. How wonderful is your name, O Lord, in all creation. A reading from Isaiah chapter 11. A shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. You will see his glory within you. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. The Lord will set up his standard in sight of all nations and gather to himself the dispersed of Israel. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies 
from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sights all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord will set up his standard in sight of all nations, and gather to himself the dispersed of Israel. To Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who will come again in glory with great power, let us make our humble prayer, Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you will come with great power. Look on our lowliness and make us worthy of your gifts. You came to be the good news for mankind. May we always proclaim your saving work. You are worthy of praises, for you have life and rule all things. Help us to wait in joyful hope for the coming of your glory. We long for the grace of your coming. Console us with the gift of your own divine life. Remember us, Lord, when you come to your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, let your glory dawn to take away our darkness. May we be revealed as the children of light at the coming of your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.